What's going on guys? I'm John Malecki and today we're building a reclaimed wood industrial filing cabinet. Here I am sawing down some old house timber to make the panels for the cabinet. I'm going to cut these down into whatever dimensions I need in my specs from half inch to three quarter to one inch for the top sides and all of the drawers. I do this first and glue those all up and then I go ahead and assemble it after. Here I am gluing up a panel. I'm using DAP's Rapid Fuse. This is a cool product. It dries in 30 minutes. That way I don't have to keep things in clamps overnight and it doesn't take the, as long to do an entire project. Um, I'll glue up two panels here in these clamps and let them sit for about a half hour while I'm working on some other stuff. And by the time I'm done with that, these are ready to roll. Here I am uh, ripping down the panels to width. Uh, this is a pretty standard, simple process. I go ahead and do everything a little heavy and, and wider when I'm doing glue up. That way I can really dial in and adjust what I need perfectly after everything has dried. So after I cut down all the panels to width and length, I go ahead and cut down the face frame rails and styles and use pocket holes to put those together. Glue up here is pretty simple, just putting the final rail in on the face frames. I go ahead and screw those in and get ready to assemble the carcasses for the boxes. So I like to pre-sand everything um, before I go ahead and assemble for projects like this. Just makes my life easier. I'm using the Festool Rotex. Um, it takes away a lot of material and really helps flatten out these panels. I absolutely love it. I purchased it a while back and it saved me a ton of time and a ton of money. Here I'm building the carcasses for the insides of the cabinets. I go ahead and use some glue and brad nails to hold them together temporarily until I can countersink some wood screws into the front and the back. All the screws get covered up by the metal strapping that I'm going to weld around the box after this so you won't see them. And like I said, I'm going to use some countersunk wood screws to hold the box together permanently. And then I'll cover these up with some angle iron as I weld the metal part of the box around it after. Now moving on to the angle iron framing. I do the same thing here and cut all of my pieces beforehand and that way I can just get right into assembly after. Here 
here I am tacking together the face frames. Um, I went ahead and mocked these up on the front of the cabinet first, that way it was to size. And then for the other three, I built this jig, that way the spacing was there. Now a couple of them were a little bit thin on it, so I had to fill it with some weld, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just pulsing some tacks on top of each other to give me a surface to actually build those welds into. After that I go ahead and grind them down, which is standard for my process since I'm not the best welder and I'm not really comfortable with having exposed welds. Um, it works well and it looks really cool when you're finished. After I get the face frames laid on there, I go ahead and tack the side rails to hold the whole box together. The box itself it gets a little bit of charring on it, but in this instance it looks kind of cool and I can go back with some sandpaper and get rid of it after. Moving on to the drawers, I've already had these panels cut and now I'm just cutting a rabbit into the bottom of each drawer. You can see I use a dado stack in my table saw here for this and it makes it really simple and then I'll go ahead and assemble the boxes with brad nails and I'll actually use countersunk screws just like I did on the carcass. Now that the drawers are built, I'm moving on to installing the slides. Here I'm using a tape measure and a square to make sure they're square to the front of the drawer. And I'll go ahead and install all of the slides inside the carcass first and then use some spacers and alignment to put the drawer itself into the box. So now that I have all the sliders installed, I'm using some spacers to install the drawers themselves. What I'll do is pull out the slider slowly and screw it into the drawer as it slides out and then I'll take it out and finish all the rest of the screws in the side of the drawer. Go ahead and repeat the same process on top with the same spacing that I want. The spacing for the drawers doesn't really matter. It's the face frame is what matters the most. Here I have two of the same size drawers. So in this instance, I was able to just use a three quarter inch spacer and screw those in. You can see it's pretty simple and this is a pretty easy way to install something um, for like a single drawer like this. And it works well and I've worked use it for a while now. Once I have the drawers installed, I go ahead and add the face frames. I will brad these from the inside and then use some screws to permanently attach them. Now 
Next, I'm gonna install the top of the cabinet inside the carcass. I'm just using pocket holes here. I'll drop it inside the carcass and use some glue and screws to attach it. I bust out the brand and add my signature to the back of the pieces. And then go ahead and apply finish. I'm using water-based polyacrylic and I really like that on Reclaimed Wood. It doesn't yellow and it holds up pretty damn well. To attach the pulls, I'm using just some angle iron and I countersunk some screws into the front of them. I'm just aligning them to the center of each drawer front and attaching them with wood screws. So what's up guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. These turned out pretty cool. They are made of completely reclaimed barn wood and wall studding. Um, everything as you saw in the video, I made panels and I also used DAPS Rapid Fuse to do all of the glue up for this project. Uh, awesome product there. Everything dries in 30 minutes and you're able to really, really, really pick up the speed in which you're able to build whatever you're doing, because you don't have to keep things in clamps forever. Um, I want to thank you all for watching again. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe and share. And if you have any questions, leave comments down below.